Jane. I'm sorry to interrupt. You're not. You've been praying. To my ancestors. Asking forgiveness for what I'm about to do. What do they say? I can't hear them. Perhaps your ancestors are silent because they can't do what you must. I know where my sister is. Clan Kikuchi's old fort. Then you're ready? I have no incense left to burn. No more prayers to make. The Kikuchi estate is this way. How did you find your sister? She was married to a man named Ikeda, a retainer for Clan Kikuchi. Their stronghold is near here, under the mountain. <laughs> she always wanted an estate and holdings of her own. And with Kikuchi's men fallen at Komoda. It made sense she would try and take Kikuchi's for herself. Especially after she failed to take yours. I asked around. It seems a new clan has taken up residence. Their emblem matches the one on the notes. Then it's her. People say she's turned it into a haven for refugees, claiming she knows what it's like to lose her home. Do you think it's true? We're about to find out. Why would your sister say she lost her home? She had to leave home when she married Ikeda. You said Ikeda was a retainer? Yes. But you're the younger sister. Why were you the one to marry a samurai? When we were young, bandits attacked our estate. Hana hid with our parents. I took up a sword. Only after I dispatched the bandits did a samurai guard arrive to help. Adachi was leading them. Hana saw him as a way to realize her ambitions, but he only had eyes for me. She was jealous then. The seed of many betrayals. I wanted to ease her heartbreak, so I helped arrange her marriage to Ikeda, and she was sent north. Did you know the man you sent your sister to live with? Ikeda was a respected widower. People spoke well of his kindness. Kindness is a mask easily removed behind closed doors. What are you getting at, Jin? I want to understand why she went to such extremes to destroy you. After so many years. There is only one thing to understand. Hana murdered my family. And today, she will pay for it. Ah. Was there ever any sign of her betrayal? We were never close, but our relationship was always cordial. I would see her at Lord Shimura's conclaves. We'd exchange pleasantries. I had no idea she held such hate in her heart. But she was at your estate, the day of the attack. She came that morning, to wait with me for news from Komoda Beach. We were both concerned for our husbands. It was the first time I ever felt close to her. She met my grandchildren, brought them gifts. They loved her. Now I know she hadn't come for comfort, but to witness our deaths. The women in your family fought. I saw that for myself. I stayed with my son's wives while Hana took the children and ran for the stables. Afterward, I found what I thought was her body. The face was brutalized, unrecognizable. But the gold sash was Hana's. 
I buried her with my family. She must have learned you survived the attack. Faked her death to escape you. A clever plan. My survival was her greatest mistake. We're almost there. Leave the horses. We'll continue on foot. Guards at the gate. Be ready. If this is a haven for survivors, there's no telling what to expect. Where is Lady Hana? It's Lady Lassico. Kill her! Yeah, put them down! Gate. Quickly, before more guards show up. So she is helping people. Hana helps no one but herself. Lady Hana, show yourself! Reinforcements. You serve a murderer. Face me, you coward. Push toward the dojo. How many are there? Doesn't matter. Kill them all. Stand your ground. I've had enough! Kill them and let's be done with it! Where's Lady Hana? In the estate up the hill, my lord. Tell the coward her sister has come. What will you do when you see her? Exactly what she did to me. She's still your family. My family is dead. She is nothing but a murderer. Show yourself. Little sister, you let me think I buried you. 
Who was it, really? A peasant woman killed by the Mongols. Did you weep for me? You have taken everything! Daughters and grandchildren. Not nearly enough. The Mongols robbed me of Adachi's death. And you cheated yours. But finally, I will take everything. Kill them. Stop her. I will deal with them. Thank you. That's him! You murdered my children. My grandchildren. Destroyed my family. A small price to pay for what you've done. I have done nothing. You stole everything. Drove me from our home. Took the life that was rightfully mine. Left me with that abusive drunk in this frozen land. To suffer an eternity of pain to understand the life I've lived. The life you forced on me. None of that is my fault. It is. And damn you for acting as if it isn't. You've come to kill me. So finish this. It will be your only kindness. I can't end your suffering. But you can. Now, you have nothing! I never mourned my family. I've tried to honor them. Meditate on treasured memories. But she consumes them. Even now. I have nothing left. No. You've accomplished what you set out to do. You have honored your family. Given them justice. Now you can find peace. This path does not lead to peace. Where does it lead? I don't know. I have to continue walking it to find out. I don't want you to go. I must. But I will be there when you need me.